<clears throat> Good morning or afternoon, depending on what side of the country you're on. My name is Jacob Harkins. I'm the Vice President of Global Marketing here at Vintage View. Thank you for taking the time to join us today for one of our six monthly webinars designed to give the design build professionals all they need to understand both the Vintage View product range and general wine cellar consultation in general. Um, so we uh, uh, we offer these uh, each month and they last about 30 minutes. And so we encourage you guys to take as many of these as you need to help your business grow. I have you on mute. So if you have any questions, just pop them into the chat fun function and, and off where, where we'll go. Today's topic at hand is the Vino series and beyond. So we say and beyond that pretty much covers all of our product ranges ex with the exception of the W series, which is our um, Hallmark label for design. We cover that in a separate webinar, which will be offered a little bit later this month. As I mentioned, this is one of six uh, webinars being offered this month. Um, and these are the other four that we have. So you can check out Wine Teller Design Trends, Passive versus Active Wine Tellering, which is tomorrow at 11 a.m. And uh, how to sell a wine teller, marketing tactics, as well as the other product knowledge. We encourage you to take all of them. and. Uh, and give me a second. Uh, we encourage you to take all of them and uh, you know, it'll really help you guys kind of grow with your wine cellar consultation. So we'll jump right into it because this is actually the meatiest webinar that we offer because it covers so many different products. And I'm really excited because one, there's a lot of new products in here that have been launched in uh, 2020 that you might not be familiar with. And there's a couple of new exciting announcements that we'll have in here that uh, the world doesn't even know about. So you get a couple sneak peeks as well. So we'll jump into the first product. This is the, the Vino series. So when we call it the Vino series and beyond, the Vino series has become our second most popular product line behind the W series. Uh, this has a uh, essentially four ways you can utilize the product. One uh, uh, directly on the wall, which we'll cover in a second, as well as three framing post kind of options to really give you the ultimate design flexibility, depending on you know, what your client projects uh, call for. Before we jump into that piece, just a little bit about who we are, if you're unfamiliar. Uh, Vintage View is the worldwide leader in metal wine rack manufacturing. We make the wine racks that design professionals love uh, because they're high quality, they're beautiful, they're easy to work with. And then we back everything with, you know, really uh, top of industry service level and support. So you can specify everything that you see today with a lot of trust that this will be the best thing for your clients. So the Vino series itself is the designer's approach to Label Ford. So Label Ford is something we speak about a lot at Vintage View. We invented the Label Ford design in terms of a metal wine rack back in 2001. It's a patented design that gives us a unique point in the marketplace. And the designer's approach, all of our wine racks are really meant for the designer. Um, we specify this specifically as a little bit more kind of uh, design oriented. And we'll get into a little bit about the why of that as we get through this year. But it is a single bottle peg system with some modularity so you can expand to meet your custom wine cellaring needs. And this is the, uh, the was the first and most trusted uh, wine rack, uh, wine peg system that can go directly into drywall. Really key point of differentiation if you're doing uh, refreshing projects, if you're doing some remodeling but not getting access to the, to the, you know, to the studs, you can pop these into great uh, wet bars, et cetera, without worrying about that. Now this diagram here shows you a little bit about the, the quote unquote modularity. And I really don't love using that term modularity because I think it takes away from how you can customize these to meet your client's needs. None of the specifications here, so anything you need to necessarily uh, memorize, they're here for, for some guidelines and just always know that we'll help you with complimentary design services to help uh, and really imagine the, the space that you're gonna be working with for your clients. With the standard bottles, we look at these from a minimalist to a maximalist capacity. So single, double, and triple deep. The little lines that you're seeing in those diagrams there are, are actually extension pieces. So you can expand these now or later, a lot of flexibility. We have Magnum and Champagne offerings as well. It's the same actual wine rack. We just space it a little differently for the minimalist uh, uh, version. And in the balance, we add in a little bit of spacer to accommodate for those, uh, those fatter bottles. And then the cork board, we have a cork board version that um, offers our, our bottles with both standard and, and Magnum as well to give people just kind of the ultimate design um, option. Now a little bit about the neck and base. Uh, this is what Vintage View is known for. Our patented design really is what sets us apart. And this is something you see in the W series as well as the, the Vino series. And what this allows us that no one else on the market can touch is unique neck and base uh, holder. So they're both offset. 
so that they get the essentially the right bottle um, angle, as well as ever so slightly tilted down, as well as um, unique divots for the fatter part of the bottle and the narrower part of the bottle. Now, the reason that this is the preferred way to do label forward is twofold. One, we think it actually looks a lot better. It's a little bit cleaner. You get wider spacing between the, the actual pegs or our rods on the W series. And secondly, it has a lot more bottle security. These bottles will not go anywhere without you know, a lot of jostling. So think about like an earthquake. So these are things that actually stay in there better than our competition. And now we mentioned that we go into drywall uh, direct into drywall, so you don't need backer bar, backer of, of anything for, for installation of the Vino series. And I'll show you a picture in the neck that shows what this collar is, but we do that with a proprietary system that involves uh, the Vino series collar with a simple butterfly anchor. When you want to use the collar, so if you're going into a drywall installation, you absolutely need to specify the collar in there. If you're going to wood or masonry, do not need that. If you love the look and you're going to wood and masonry, then absolutely add that on. And that's gonna be a design choice only. And now as we get into the finishes, I'll just point out what that collar actually looks like. It's that disc behind there. So if you can imagine that with the drywall in between sandwich, with the kind of creating a sandwich between the, the butterfly anchor on the other side and pinching that drywall in between the collar and it, and it holds up to, uh, depending on the, the depth, but it holds up to like 24, 25 pounds a uh, bottle of wine is 30 pounds, uh, three pounds. So you can see how this easily carries that weight. On the single bottle depth, you can practically do pull-ups on these and it'll it'll hold. So one of the other differentiation points and why you should consider specifying vino pins and vino rails over uh, the competition is the number of finishes. So this, what you're looking at here is our milled aluminum, really sleek kind of um, silvery, a little bit of shine to it, a little bit of grain looks great. Um, in, a, in a lot of different, uh, in a lot of different uh, applications. We have a gloss black, so black with a little bit of shine to it, a little bit flashier. We have a matte black, so really trendy, kind of in vogue right now. Um, that flat black matches all of our racking and W series, the Evolution Wine Wall, which we'll cover a little bit later in here, uh, the Case and Crate, which we'll cover later. So this is something you can match to a lot of the other vintage wine racking. In the label for single bottle depth, we offer acrylic, so acrylic, clear acrylic, which is fantastic for the ultimate in minimalism. These things really disappear when you take a step back and look at the, uh, the display and all you see is kind of wine bottles floating. We have golden bronze, which is a beautiful mix of kind of the, the really in fashion gold and those bronze flavors. What we love about this is because it actually gives a little bit more timeless look where you sometimes wonder on bronzes and golded, like how long they'll last in terms of popularity. But when you really look at this golden bronze, it's something that's going to be a, a timeless look. And then the gunmetal, which is a really kind of seductive, kind of darker, shiny uh, uh, premium finish as well. So the reason that we're so proud of these offering six different finish options, this gives you the, the wine cellar design build professional, the opportunity to really mix and match uh, different color palettes based on different hardware choices in the rest of the room, whether it be a kitchen, a full wine cellar build, et cetera, we're gonna give you the most design flexibility that you need. Now, we talked about the neck and base um, uh, advantage, the thing that really sets us apart. There are a lot of clients, especially in the West Coast where they're worried about seismic activity and commercial applications where they might be worried about customers really you know, bumping into a wine wall. So we do have a universal bottle retention straps. These will fit on actually any of the wine racks that you see today. It's a very simple um, uh, cloth, stretchy cloth uh, Velcro system that will wrap over the neck and base of a bottle in the vino pins or both the bases on some of our other wine racks. So if you have clients who are worried about that whatsoever, one, know that our wine racks hold bottles very, very securely. Two, these will be great in situations where they're worried about seismic activity. So we have a solution for that. Now, depending on whether you are the actual installer or you sub that out to someone else, um, this slide here is to just let you know that we have your back. So number one, these are very simple things to install. It's a matter of uh, measuring with supplied templates to the, the drill hole patterns, uh, drilling you know, for wood or drywall anchor and, and repeat. Um, the thing to consider when specifying this in terms of quoting out, uh, they can take, a, it's a little bit laborious in terms of laying out the, the, the wall. So we can work with you to understand how that might be for, for accurate quoting. And um, know that we also have plotting guides available. So the, the actual package comes with a single bottle layout, so neck and base piece, but we can give you um, plotter guides to lay out the entire wall as well. 
Um, we have installation resources, installation guides, videos, and all that stuff <clears throat> to really uh, help you understand this better. And new uh, at the end of the year, if you have not been, if you've never seen uh, built uh, 3D uh, installation instructions, we're going to be on the built app with these as well. So really get providing you the, the best service level we can to make sure that this is easy for you. Uh, note, if you're doing anything on large installs into a wood uh, backer, ask us for a complimentary M6 driver. We sell them for a couple bucks on the website, but we'll throw them into larger orders. This will speed up the process quite a bit in terms of, of installation. Again, we're here to help you out. So if you have any questions with this, you can work with your sales rep during the quoting process to get an accurate idea of how long this would take so you can quote that accurately, as well as tips and tricks so you can speed that up and make sure you're getting um, the most efficient layout possible. Now, the end result is something like this. These are Vino pins in uh, actually the first ever Vino pins installation went right into drywall. This is actually a buddy of mine's house when we launched this product. I asked him if we could um, borrow his wall, so to speak. And he and his wife were really thrilled because they had this kind of awkward visual space in between their cabinetry and their kitchen. And they love wine. So this was a, a great solution of how they could install a 20 bottle wine storage unit that's beautiful easily accessible so they can drink all their kind of everyday wines and just add, it serves as a talking piece. On the larger scale, you look at something like this. This is a home in Eagle, Idaho, uh, really beautiful mountain living. And they've got this contemporary design that has inside outdoor, outside access and a beautiful glass wine display that just really speaks to the beauty of the vino pins. When I'm giving this uh, uh, course or giving courses like this in, in person and we show this, you often get a lot of questions about how could you possibly store wine safely there. There's a lot of things, right? You've got single pane frameless glass, at, you know, inside outside living, and a fireplace right there. The answer is this one. I I can't speak to what the developer did here. You would need to do a lot of really pre-planning to keep that wine safely. And if you have questions about how to do stuff like that, especially with, you know, um, you know, uh, heat sources like a fireplace, glass, and all that stuff, I highly recommend you take tomorrow's active versus passive training. We talk a lot about the planning and how to make something like this be safe for wine. Um, and sometimes we know that our clients don't really care about the safety of wine. And they just want something beautiful. And that's OK, too, as long as they understand what they're getting into. Now here's a, a builder, uh, a, a review that we got installed entire wall, wall of wine pegs for the client. Looks awesome. Client wanted a wow feature. And, and this was it. And you'll see a lot of these throughout um, when we talk about our, our vintage view uh, product range. We get um, reviews like this from direct homeowners, from the trade all day long. And what, what I'm trying, what we really want you to know is that this is the kind of reaction your clients will have when you specify vintage view. They're gonna get a beautiful product, one that's easy to work with, one that's backed by our lifetime warranty, so that you know that when you're specifying this, you're really gonna be putting yourself in a position to put the, the best foot forward for their wine projects, large and small. Now, to add to the versatility of the Vino series, in 2020 alone, we've added three new ways to essentially uh, design these uh, and, and change the way they look and change the way they install. So the first two are um, floating systems. Think of floor to ceiling frames, if you've worked with our W series. And we launched these at the uh, New American Home and the New American Remodel in January in, in Las Vegas. And they are just a great uh, design feature that just pops them off the wall. The first is the post. This has become one of the, the best sellers in our range like overnight. It's a simple post system with mounting plates and you can do a lot of mixing and matching to understand you know, uh, different bottle depths, label forward, cork forward, and how you wanna do that. You can, you can put them on one side, two sides, three sides, four sides. And it gives you a lot of design flexibility when you love the look of the Vino pins or Vino rails and you wanna bring them off the wall for, for uh, against glass to create room dividers to fill um, kind of awkward corners, that type of thing. It's a very easy system to, to specify. So this is kind of, I just broke this down into kind of the layman's terms of the steps. And the very simple thing is you're gonna pick your post. And really what I mean by that is you're actually gonna pick your coloring. So you can do matte black, gloss black, gun metal, golden bronze. This is a 10 foot post uh, to be broken into two pieces when it ships, they couple together with a welded in steel C channel. When you put these together, this thing is rock solid. If you've worked with the W series before and you know, we understand what that backer needed, you don't ever need to add any additional backing regardless if you're doing single-sided or multi-sided. You cut to fit on site, so 10 foot, nine foot, et cetera. You cut to fit that on site to meet your individual needs. 
Step two is you pick your actual mounting plate. Now these correspond to the actual different styles of, of racking offered in the Vino series. You can do label forward, which is one bottle wide, or you can do cork forward, which offers, uh, so you can do single bottle, double bottle, or three bottles in width. So the variations here are basically, if you're looking at label forward, um, you pick one plate, but then you actually decide on bottle depth, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, and, or you pick the width that you want to go in terms of, of label for it. So you can, or a cork for it. So you can go on each plate up to three bottles depending on your configuration. Then you pick your matching rack. So in the Vino rails, again, you're picking just the, the width, right? So number of bottles that you're going to uh, store on that. And the Vino pins, you're deciding whether you want to do single bottle depth or if you want to add in the extensions to go double or triple depending on your, your bottle capacity and style needs. One thing to note here, um, don't be shy about going two-tone. So if you if you like the silver pins, the milled aluminum pins, we don't offer a, a post in this. Uh, we just couldn't quite get the match that we wanted. So the the aluminum, milled aluminum comes as a, a automatic two-tone. We do a matte black with that. It looks fantastic. It's what the designers chose in both the New American Home and the New American Remodel. Beyond that, when you want to break away, it looks great if you do like, you know, the golden bronze pins with the matte black, you can do that to be a little bit more subtle than doing all golden bronze. So lots of design opportunities there. So now once you have kind of picked these out, this step is actually uh, you assemble everything. So you put the, you cut down the post to, to fit, you put it together, just sliding it into place, and then you mount your actual plates on one two, three, or four sides, depending on your design. The only, um, the standard minimum spacing is five inch vertical lines to accommodate for bottle storage. You can stretch them out to anything that you want beyond that. And we'll help you with that through the design process to make it look the way you need to do it. Very simple process. Once you have that, you just simply slide it into place and install to the floor and the ceiling. Um, just like our um, W series, if you've worked with that, uh, this, we, we provide all of the hardware you need to assemble the piece and then we rely on you to, to get the floor and ceiling mounting hardware because there's just too many variables there. We have a lot of recommendations whether it's concrete or wood. So work with us on that, we'll, we'll help you out there. <clears throat> um, really simple to put into place and we have uh, hidden brackets if you want more of a minimal look as an upgrade. We have angled brackets to go under staircases. We've got different extension pieces. Again, if you work for the W series, we have all those different accoutrements to really elevate the needs. So you can do a lot of cool stuff under staircases. You can mount to the floor, then back to a, uh, the wall if you want to do a, essentially a, uh, an, L, an L turn back to the wall with a little bit of an offset for different design needs. Um, so we'll really help you with there. The other piece of the, the floor to ceiling mounting is the Vino series panel. Uh, this is a beautiful acrylic piece. Today we offer it in uh, a custom version, so built to fit your actual needs. And we, we uh, create a steel frame around that to go right into place into your room with whatever drill hole patterns you want for the Vino pins or the Vino, Vino rails. We expect by um, early next year to have a kitted version of this as well. So one that you could actually use a telescoping version to meet your different ceiling heights. So stay tuned on that. Really beautiful, upgraded, elevated look for those custom wine cellar projects. Uh, this is a quote from Suzanne Sauer, who is uh, the, the designer behind the New American Home. Uh, first reaction when I saw the wine room, which featured both the post and the panel, it was exciting, something she hadn't used before. It was floating, it was beautiful. And that's the result that we're really looking for. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get this to play. So this is that home that we were speaking about, the new American home in, in Las Vegas. This featured both the, the, pin, the Vino series uh, panel and the Vino series post a really beautiful, you know, $6 million property overlooking the strip. And that glass wine room is the first thing you see when you walk in. Now, if you see the size of that room, you could have easily put in way more bottle storage. The designer wanted a super minimalist look. So we spaced the, the bottles vertically at 10 inches as opposed to five inches. So essentially half capacity there and two sided on each, uh, in each version of both the panel and the post. Um, just a stunning look that really was as bold as the home itself. So that's just a little bit of visual teaser to see what that looks. Now the Vino Series Flex is the, the, uh, the third framing option and the fourth way to put bottles of wine on, you know, in your wine cellars using the Vino, pair, Vino, Vino pins or Vino rails. This is called Flex. This is a simple support system 
that is meant to still be wall mounted, but it, it gives us a different look than the Vino series, uh, the Vino pins and Vino rails on their own, and it simplifies installation. So there are two really important things depending on, on project needs and, and installation resources. This column system takes the pins and the rails and puts them onto a steel support, and we can rotate that design up to a 45 degree angle for some really cool visual looks. For Vino pins, it's offered in choice of single, double, or triple bottle depth. It's a 45 inch tall section that fits nine bottles in height, so you can get nine, um, 18, or 27 bottles of storage, depending on your, your needs. The Vino Rails uh, is offered just in the single bottle depth, nine bottles. <clears throat> Lots of really cool um, just design ways you can mix and match these. Now, why did we offer this? So the idea is for a unique look. It just looks a little bit different, gives people a, one more thing they can think about when, when you guys are designing these for your clients uh, in the Vino series. Uh, two, it speeds up alignment. So where the Vino pins are free form and free flowing, so a lot of work visually for creativity and installation, if that's what your project needs. If you want something a little simplified, you don't have to really think about where to put the, uh, the mounting holes. And then we've uh, essentially um, streamlined the installation where you have six unique mounting point, points for nine, 18, or 27 bottles, where for the Vino pins, that 27 bottles could easily be 54 unique mounting points, depending on your, your thing. So it really can uh, simplify that. The finishes, uh, we have the two-tone matte black and milled aluminum, then matte black, gloss black, golden bronze, and gunmetal. Those are the standard finishes. So that's what you would see on our website. And if you don't want to customize anything further, each package comes with the mounting strips, the Vino pins or Vino rails, if you're doing pins, optional extension units, and then all the mounting hard and assembly hardware. So everything you need to put this on a wall is there into drywall, into wood surfaces, super easy. Now, if you wanna customize this, there are two simple ways to customize this. One, you can cut the element. So we can cut this at five inch intervals to reach whatever height need you want to fit in the nooks to just get a little smaller. And then you can do non-standard two-tone. So just as we spoke about, uh, mixing and matching with the Vino series post system, you can do the same thing here. You can have uh, matte black strips behind it, golden bronze pins. You can do gold, you know, gunmetal with golden bronze. You can play with all those things to really meet the design that you need. And then the end result of this, um, you know, you can go super minimalist and and create bold looks on walls like this. Um, you can get a little bit more creative with your designs in a, in a, in a more uh, typical wine cellar unit, a wine cellar project. Um, so we're just really thrilled to offer this because it gives us four unique ways to put the Vino pins on a wall or floating, uh, something else that, that, that is really tough for our competition to, to match. All right, so that was a lot. So now we're going to pop into the Evolution. Evolution, if you've been with the Vintage U company for a while, Evolution used to be the Evolution uh, series, which was one rack. And now we've expanded it with options of freestanding, wall mounted, and then um, some custom stuff to work into millwork. Um, you could also float it and we'll talk to that in a second. So the first iteration of evolution was what we now call the wine tower. This is an acrylic bookcase for wine. It is stunning. It is beautiful. It is offered in three standard sizes. And the cool thing about this is uh, what you see here can easily expand to the side with extension kits where we share the middle walls and we just thread those, those wine rods through there. So you can expand to meet um, your, your individual project needs. This shows you how that works really quickly. So, you know, you, you essentially add 40 inches of, of width to this and you can see how you could easily uh, ramp up bottle, count, uh, bottle capacity for, for large sellers if, if need be. This comes in three standard finishes. So clear acrylic with either chrome, matte black or golden bronze rods. So lots of design flexibility there, especially if you're mixing and matching with other vintage U flavors. Now, my favorite thing about the wine tower is this. It is easily the most customizable product that we offer without even really thinking about this. Everything that you see here is what we almost call semi-custom. So that means um, not full custom prices. It means really quick turnaround times. We can do a, essentially a customized to, to your heart's content and turn it around in four to six weeks to your door. What can you customize? You can change the height. You can go up to 119.5 inches tall. Um, you can go down to four or five inches tall. You can change the width by cutting uh, the rods. Um, and you can change the actual depth from single bottle, what you see here. So what you see here is actually a single bottle display floor to ceiling. 
this is the answer to when you don't want to deal with the expense and the headache of um, of uh, cable systems, but your customer wants that invisible look. And you can go all the way to 12 bottles deep. You can change the wine rods to different powder coats and different custom widths, um, and you can do custom acrylic colors. All of these things are things we do very, very frequently, so we can quote them out quickly. The pricing is really way closer to standard than custom, and the turnaround times are super quick. And I just love the single bottle depth version of this. This is what we put in our design center, which we opened in January to the public. Um, it just looks beautiful. It's minimalist. It really fills up a glass wall in a way that a lot of other products cannot. And then, you know, going just to this as an example. So the, the design center was custom. This is standard. They both have that same look. What I love about the Evolution Wine Tower and all of the products in this line is that our standard spacing vertically is five inches. So that's a little bit more airy than our W series would be, which does a couple things. One, it allows us to mix and match bottle types on, on the racks themselves. So you can put Magnum, Champagne, Pinot bottles, standard bottles, all in the same place. And two, it gives a little bit more visual uh, kind of breathing room so you can see through to gorgeous artwork, wall treatments, et cetera. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the installation is super easy. This is like, you know, uh, 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 take an Allen wrench, screw an Allen wrench, screw through uh, the acrylic wall into the rod and repeat. Um, it just can be labor intensive depending on how big of a project. <coughs> Excuse me. As with all of the other products, we offer great installation uh, resources so that you can understand how to do this more quickly and how to accurately um, quote this to your clientele. And a quick note on use a torque control drill with a hex key bit to speed the installation up quite a bit. So the wine wall is the next iteration of this. So this is the same kind of aesthetic value in terms of spacing, but done with a wall mounted uh, thought process as well as um, makes it more of a kind of industrial chic design. So the wine wall is the same gen general dimensions of the wine tower, just offered in wall mounted versions. So you can think about the, this like our W series where you have four different heights that you can stack together. And you can think about this like our wine tower where you can share that centerpiece and expand to the side. This comes in five, 15, 30 and 45 inch sections as well as a, a presentation row and in single, double and triple bottle depth. So lots of uh, flexibility for, for uh, a variety of designs in, in the wall mounted version. Comes in three finishes. Um, again, we're dealing with, so the, the actual steel on the sides, uh, the support pieces are always matte black. And then you choose your wine rod. So matte black on matte black, on matte black, matte black on chrome, matte black on gold and bronze. Great to mix and match with other vintage products or match with different hardware in there. The universal bottle retention, uh, retention straps work really great here as well. So this is something just to consider for, again, for those seismic activity areas. Um, these are really sturdy for, for bottle movements. So you don't have to think about it unless your clients are overly concerned. A little bit preview is the wine wall shelf, which is beginning to coming late 2020. So this is going to be something that you can go on top of the existing wine wall wine or wine tower products. So if you have a client that already has these, you can add this in single bottle, double and triple and just slides on top. Great for decanters, great for wine bottles, great for uh, kind of design extension breakup. So lots of design flexibility here. Um, really, really cool looking product. Easy to add on to new and old projects using this product line. Uh, this shows just the extension piece again. So this works just like the, the wine tower where you share a wall and you extend to the side. You can really uh, ramp this up to meet any bottle capacity need for your different clients. Now the installation of this, again, kind of uh, easy to comprehend, um, a combination of building a wine tower with the, the W series wall mounted version. The thing to think about this is there's two general ways to do this is one is build the entire wine rack on the ground, lift it into place and mount it to the wall. This is great for when you're doing single wide versions. When you're doing the extension units, you would actually mount the first uh, 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 support to the left or the right, thread your wine rods, do the center support and go for as many uh, extensions as you need. Again, what can help you understand which is the right, the right uh, approach based on your, your project needs. Um, and I need to update this. We do have the video installation guide to show you this again. So we're here to help you make sure this is easy for either you or your GC uh, to make sure your client gets exactly what they want. 
Now, this is the end result of the wine wall. Now, we when we launched this, a lot of the folks asked us, like, what was the purpose of adding another label forward version to the wall mounted? And we had to think a lot about uh, why we were doing this. And we were doing it for a couple of reasons. Um, number one is it offers flexibility if you don't, if your client doesn't know if they're going to be doing champagne and magnums or standard, right? So these fit everything on there. So that's a differentiation point to the W series where you have to predict by buying the specific rack. Two, they just look different. And when you look at the W series, right? And so that's our main core wine rack. The design is all about the bottle. There's not a lot of space in between. You don't see through it. So you see bottle, 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 bottle. So great for the collector who wants to see all bottle and they want to hide what's behind it. This has that more visual, you know, visual uh, space vertically. So you can see through the great wall treatment. So if the client is working really hard to create a beautiful backdrop with stone or or wood paneling or whatever, this allows you to see it. So that's the, the you know, try to, to decide which one works better for the client. Those visual things are gonna be big. Now, like we have with all of our wine racks now that go on a wall, we now have a post system for it. This is actually the same post that we use for the Vino series. Um, just a very, uh, very subtle, some subtle differences to how you have to think about it. So the post itself is sold singularly. So you have to count your post when you're thinking about this and, and you would do a pair if you're doing just one column. You would add a third if you're doing an extension. So you can use these with extensions just like you can the, the wall mounted wine racks. Again, 10 foot uh, post, two pieces cut to fit on site. Um, order the number based on number of uh, base units plus an additional one for each extension. You pick your wine racking. Um, if you're doing one column, you're gonna build it on the ground attach it to the to the, the actual post themselves and then and then go. Um, if you're gonna do a lot of extensions, you would you would put your first post in place, attach the racking and go from there. So a little bit of differentiation point depending on how wide your, your wine display is gonna be. Um, this goes on either single or double sided depending on your, your needs. So lots of cool flexibility there. Um, again, no backer, backer needed. So single single sided displays you just pick the racking on one side um, and, and attach to the frame itself. Um, pick your racking, single, double, triple sided. So you can go as, as, as wide as six bottles that deep. Once you have it built, it, you install it to the floor and ceiling, kind of tip it into place, just like you would the other ones. Again, if you're doing this with extension units, you would start with the first post on the left or the right. You would attach your wine racks to one, you know, half the you know, half support of the wine racks, thread your wine rods, build the next post and repeat until you get to the end of your display. This is in our design center. This shows um, a one-sided version of it, which is, you know, pops it off the wall for a little bit of visual depth. On the right-hand side is that two-sided version against glass with single on, single bottle depth on one side and two bottles depth on the other. The other thing on the, the glass version, the one on the right-hand side, we've cut the width of that to meet the, the width of the actual uh, window itself which uh, has a cool look, so two bottles wide instead of the, the standard three. And then again, you have your th same three options here. And so the wine rods themselves, again, they come in uh, chrome, matte black, uh, gun metal. And these we sell a lot to direct to mill workers where they can put these into their custom cabinetry. We can cut to widths, we can give drill hole patterns. So this is really great when you already have the sides, whether it be wood, some custom metal, and you can, thread these into pocket holes, or you can, uh, if you have access to the outside, you can drill the hardware on the outside. So we can essentially help you design that custom look into whatever you guys are working with and, and go from there. Again, super easy on the install for these things and we'll provide you all those resources. Uh, the, the final piece of this is kind of seeing how that custom wine rod looks in, in itself. So this is 71 above in downtown Los Angeles. Um, they did custom metal work on the outside and used our wine rods to thread everything together for a really beautiful look. The whole idea of this restaurant is looking out to the city of Los Angeles and, and having a great view on the inside as well. Very custom version of this is uh, cutting the, the wine rods to single bottle width and then using uh, pocket hole installation into these great things. This is like, you know, maybe a hundred bucks, 200 bucks in wine racks and it looks really high end because of just the way the design professionals uh, did this. So just love how you can do that little LED backstrip to illuminate that. An owner, even with the rack being full, doesn't take up much space visually. The rods are thin, your eyes carry through the space. So that's really what we're looking to achieve here is that type of look for your clients, just really minimalist visual. Um, so just know that whenever you do this, you're gonna have really happy customers. 
Now the final piece here is case and crate, our kind of bulk wine storage. This is our wine bins and wine lockers. If you've worked with this before, just know that there's a version 2.0 and I'll touch on what that means that we launched this summer, a new and improved uh, from uh, the original line that launched about two years ago. So the idea being here is what do we do best at Vintage View? We design things in a metal modular fashion that you can customize for your, your wine projects. We thought it was gonna be huge in the commercial setting and, and it's been very large there. However, we've seen a lot of homeowners really dig this look and they put it, they mix it with W series racking, they mix it with other things for a, a cool look. The modularity is very simple. Those two dark black lines in the bottom left corner are the base bin, the bin three. This is the standard wine offering. You can expand it to the side like you do in the W, uh, the wine tower or the wine wall. And you can also stack up to too high to get about a, a seven foot tall um, a wine locker or wine bin. And then you pick your style. Are you gonna keep it as a bin open face? You can add locker doors to make it uh, you know, uh, secure. Um, you can add a, a back to it for a visual, you know, visual and or added security depending on your needs. Um, we've got uh, acrylic shelves for standing some stuff up. You've got X bin inserts to, 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 to you know, a little bit added kind of design element. Um, so those are the accoutrements to make it really custom to your project. Now, if you're working with uh, commercial settings, uh, especially today when they're really trying to figure out value and ROI and they're really struggling with what's going on in the world, um, you can pitch them this as an idea if they're looking for a creative way to potentially get repeat business or get repeat revenue. A lot of restaurants either rent these out, rent lockers out to clients and give them deals on, on wine to fill up with it, or they give them to, to their best clientele. Um, so you have a lot of options there to try and see if they can get their guests in there more frequently or utilizing, you know, maybe some wine retail stuff that a lot of restaurants are allowed to do now with COVID. So you have uh, some cool things you can do here uh, to really help them out. Now, Case and Crate 2.0 um, looks from the front exactly like the original. So if you've seen our original ones, this is what's different. So the we launched this in July 2020. Uh, to do a couple things. One, we made it a little bit deeper so Magnum bottles can fit in without popping off the back. We um, simplified the design so the front legs were always one by one steel support, the back legs were, were not. So we upgraded that to one by one so it looks a little bit visually more cohesive and it's stronger. And then we upped the actual strength of the steel from 16 gauge to 18 gauge. So now this is a little bit better looking, a lot stronger and it holds um, uh, Magnum bottles as well standard, so enhancements at all points. Part of the reason we did this is we will be launching in probably January 2021, if not before, the bin one and locker one. This will be a one shelf tall version, so that will allow us to, you know, have uh, these arrays being one, you know, you can go underneath your wine racks and just do one bin tall with the extension units, or you can hit whatever unique heights you want. You can do four shelves high, five shelves high, six shelves high. It's a little bit more design flexibility there. Um, so these, these enhancements give us the strength and, and the continuity to do that. Uh, just matte black for the finish for now. We've been toying with other finishes in this, but we haven't seen the demand quite yet. So uh, keep, keep your eyes peeled for that. However, we do a custom powder coating for this and it's beautiful. And if you ever uh, need something really specific for your custom wine cellar. Installation on this is the, this is the easiest thing that we have to install, uh, period. This, we, we, when we launched this product, we showed our team, we broke them into teams of like four and five people, showed them the finished version, gave them a complete box with all the parts, but no installation instructions and time people about how quickly they could install it. Most people without installation instructions were installing this in less than 10 minutes. So really easy to assemble. And we can walk you through that again, just so you can understand what to specify for your clients. The end result being just a really clever way to store lots of wine. We found this as a winery in Oregon. Uh, they actually put the bottles upright, which we thought was unique for, for their retail needs. And we think it just showed off really well the, the visual flexibility because they mix and match this with some of the typical display racking for really end, good rate end results while ramping up bottle content. Couple things to note before you order, um, Vintage U offers complimentary design so we can put any of these products into design for you, work with you based on room dimensions, client expectations, budgets, all that fun stuff give you overall wine cellar consultation, either on the phone with your sales rep or in any of our other trainings, samples, catalogs, inspiration, whatever you need to really get your projects kickstarted and, and provide the best results for your clients. After you order, we typically uh, have aimed to ship the same day, 2 p.m. is the cutoff mountain standard time. Caveat on that, 
Um, due to COVID, we've been running a slightly smaller crew in the warehouse. Uh, so we're really at the 24 to 48 hour turnaround time. And we don't know exactly when we'll be back to our same day. Um, but in any event, we're still shipping them out quickly. Just about everything you see here is, is offered in stock, so easy to get. Everything we, we produce comes with a lifetime warranty. We, we try to break these wine racks in, in development so we know that they'll stand the test of time. And we do a 15 point quality uh, control inspection when we get them into our warehouse before we ship them off to you. And then on top of that, we hope to, we aim to offer the best customer service through these webinars, through, we'll walk you through whatever you need design wise <coughs> so that you can specify vintage you knowing that you're working with the best in the business. So this uh, concludes today's webinar. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing passive versus active cooling. We've got how to sell, sell, sell <coughs> excuse me, how to sell <coughs> sellers and marketing uh, later on this week and next week. VintageU.com backslash get dash trains where you find all those resources and schedules. <coughs> Had a little bit of a cold. And talking for 45 minutes has apparently got my throat dry, so apologies for that. Um, so thank you for joining us. This has been um, an, uh, an honor and a privilege for us to steal 45 minutes of your day. Please email us with any questions. You can get the marketing team, myself and my colleagues, directly at marketing at vintageu.com. Or you can reach out to your sales rep direct if you um, already have a relationship with one of them, and they will take great care of you. Uh, we hope to see you again at any of the uh, webinars or design a fantastic wine cellar with you with any of these products that we uh, we just covered. Uh, please let us know how we can help you. i uh, seeing some comments. Um, thank you. Uh, yeah, you're very welcome, Stephanie, and you're very welcome, everyone else who took the time today. Uh, really hope this helps you imagine amazing uh, projects for your, your clients. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Please reach out to us with questions, comments. Tell us how great we are. Tell us where we can improve. We always want to make you happy. Have a wonderful day.